welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Manshu, and we are very close to completing our Lightning Web Components curriculum. In the last tutorial, we talked about target configs, and in this one, we are going to talk about specifically how can you create custom tabs which, whenever they are clicked, open a Lightning Web Component. Because this is a very uh, interesting and an important use case out of all the config that you have. You can drop something on a record page, fine. You can drop something on a home page, fine. But if you want to create a custom tab out of it so that people click on the tab as a navigation item and that opens LWC is a in demand thing that you know normally you would go ahead and do for your projects actual business use cases. So we'll just you know deep dive into that. So in order to use LWC as a custom tab we just discussed in our previous tutorial that you have to define a target config only then that LWC will be visible right so you can expose a lwc component directly by creating a custom tab and using it in your navigation items perfect that's the only thing about our tutorial today let's go ahead and give it a try if i go to salesforce and i want to create a tab so what do i do i go to setup and i say tabs right i click on the tabs option here the second one and this is where i see that i have some custom tab object tabs i have web tabs i have visual force lightning component tabs Lightning component tabs is basically what holds and hosts the Aura and the LWC both together. So you won't have a separate Lightning web component tab. All right, I'll go ahead and click on the new button here. And when I do that, I have an option to choose a Lightning component. But right now I only see the tile container, which is not my component or not even anything that I've created here. What is the reason of that? Because Put a comment and just tell me i'll just take a pause here for you know for you to type in the comment what is the reason that i'm not seeing my components any of my components here to choose from yes so the reason is i have not exposed my lightning web component to be available or accessible from a tab perspective and for us to be able to do that we'll have to define a target config that allows us to put allows us to put it as a tab okay so what i'll do is i'll just go back to our org let's go back here and let's go to the home tab alright and what I see here I, I have created a lot of stuff here right this is pretty much everything that we have been doing so let me just look at what this is create account with a name right this one right here I'll just do a global search and this is the toast display correct so let's go to the toast display and in this JS meta file I want to just go ahead and say that I want to create a tab out of it right so i just have to ensure that my tab target config is defined on the component level that's all i need to do i'll go ahead and say deploy just waiting for it to deploy deployed let's go back and now if i go to my tab screen i still don't see it why because i need to refresh my page it will not you know automatically or magically appear you'll have to refresh your page and now if i notice i have my toast display showing up and this right here is your LWC component. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and say display notifications is the label and that's the name and there's a tab style that you need to assign to every tab. This is something that's needed for Salesforce platform to operate. I'll just go ahead and like, you know, put something like, let's say bell, fine. And I'll, description is always good to add. I'll just skip it for now. I'll say next and I just want to keep it hidden for all and I just want to apply a different tab visibility and only for the system administrator which is uh, which is me right here i'll put a default on okay default on what is default on people who are aware of this should know, should comment and tell me what is the difference between default on off and tab hidden because it's part of my admin master class right cool now that i've configured the tab you'll see that display notification so shows here i'll just copy this particular label and i'll go back to my home page and i'll click on the refresh or reload button all right and if i take a look here i don't see it here what i'll do is i'll just edit add more items and now if i search a tab which is called display notifications i can bring it and add it to my current list i'll bring it right at the top so that we don't have to you know scroll or navigate i'll just bring it here and say save and now i should see my tab showing up cool and if i go ahead and say display notifications it's showing you your tab right if i switch to cases cases shows up if i switch to display my lwc component shows up right how does the url look the url is nothing but the name of the tab 
and the tab is internally or iner inherently linked to a LWC component. So if I click on display notification tab here, it is pointing to the toast dis display content. That content is coming from LWC and that is what is getting loaded here. Perfect. Alright, so this is how you can actually create your tabs. You can also search your tab on the app launcher. If you type display notifications, it will show up here. Alright, and if I click on it, it will open up here. Alright, if I go to let's say the sales application. Right, what do I have here? I have all of these tabs, right, which are already existing. I'll just go ahead and click on the app launcher. I'll say display notifications. My tab will show up. I'll click on it. It will create a new tab and my LWC component will load. Alright. Cool. If you want to permanently add your tab to your uh, navigation bar, you have to go to the app manager sex setting. You have to open the relevant app and add your navigation item there. That's more of an admin task. I'm not covering it here. Okay, but you can do that. Can I have 10 tabs for 10 different LWC components? Yes, you can. There's no limit to it. You have 10 tabs which are standard, right? You can have your own tabs, right? This is one view. Service is another view. The console view. You can have your tabs either ways. All right. Great. I think that's all I wanted to cover as part of this particular tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Bye.